in this video i will be making ethyl alcohol from fermentation of sugar so i have a 2 liter cold drink bottle and in the left i have instant yeast but if you don't get yeast don't worry in the future i'll be making alcohol without yeast so subscribe to my channel and turn that bell icon on so you get a notification whenever i upload a video this is an airlock this will allow all the gases to come out but not let the air from outside to enter in the bottle so i have measured out 500 grams of sugar and then i will dissolve it in 1.75 liter of water the water was pre boiled to kill all the germs and bacteria present in water after cooling at room temperature sugar is dissolved in water so i will pour all the sugar inside this bottle for every 1 liter of water you need 0.25 kg of sugar so over here i have taken 500 grams of sugar for 2 liter final wash since volume of solution rises on adding sugar so keep in mind that the 2 liter volume is of final wash and not of water so after adding the water i place the cap and shake the bottle to dissolve all the sugar so now when all the sugar has been dissolved i will pour 10 grams of yeast this is instant yeast so i need not need to activate it i am adding it directly inside the bottle but if you have active dry yeast you need to activate it first in warm water and then you have to add it inside the mixture so i will shake the bottle to mix all the yeast now i will remove the cap and place my airlock inside the airlock water is poured now this bottle is placed into a dark and warm place so this is after one day you can see that gases are escaping out what is happening here is sugar is being converted into ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide by anaerobic respiration of yeast after one week no escaping of gases is being observed so it is meant that the reaction is now over and now our ethyl alcohol is formed and ready to distill this solution may contain 12 to 15% of ethanol by weight so it needs to be fractionally distilled so i am pouring out the liquid into a 500 ml round bottom flask now i am adding some broken pieces of glass which will act as boiling stones this is the distillation setup you can see that the round bottom flask is being heated in an oil bath on an induction heater and in the reflux condenser i am circulating 80 degree celsius water and cold water in the second condenser but this method did not worked well my ethanol was very watery so i decided to make a fractionating column by inserting some steel wool 
inside the Liebig's condenser. So I packed my Liebig's condenser with some steel wool and put it onto the round bottom flask and attach a thermometer on the top to monitor the temperature of the vapors. Since I did not get any Vigrex column or a three-way adapter, I am managing with what I have. So when the temperature rose up to 75 to 80, some distillate I got in the conical flask. The conical flask was also placed in an ice bath because it was very warm and uh, I didn't want my ethyl alcohol to vaporize out. After some time the temperature ro rose up to 90 so I lowered the temperature of oil bath. So when I got no more distillate at 90 degrees Celsius, I stopped the distillation and the final volume of distillate was 41 ml. I measured its density and then calculated its concentration from the concentration density chart online. To calculate the density, I used a 25 ml pre-weight volumetric flask. I filled it with my solution and measured its weight so I got the mass of the solution and then divided it by 25 which was the volume of the volumetric flask. So I got the density and then I checked its concentration from the chart that I got online easily. So next time I placed a funnel as a receiving adapter. This time I got 60 ml of 47% ethanol. I packed my condenser with some more steel wool and in the third and fourth run I got 70 ml and 65 ml of 61% ethanol. So I poured all the ethanol into a bottle and this will be redistilled along with the ethanol that I will make without yeast. Once I get the Vigrex column and a 3-way adapter. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would like to thank Aga for financially supporting me. You can also support me financially through Patreon and PayPal. Links are given in description.